again to another video. This is my Rossi's nail set that I've done a couple of weeks ago. I'll just show you my phone. Okay, so that was the first of Feb when I've completed this set. And today we're the 13th of February. So we had a good 13 days, nearly two weeks of wearing the set. So you can see the set is still on. There's not a lot of chipping going on. There's a little bit of lifting I can see at the edge. Don't mind about my um, edges and how the shine is not on there anymore. I've been doing inventory on my stamping plate, so I have to use acetone to clean up the plate. And of course, I haven't been wearing gloves when I was doing that, so the acetone is sort of wearing into my top coat. But overall, um, the nails lasted well, the powder stay on well. So you see all the edges are still intact. Some of the sh it still has some of the shine on the top. And it hasn't been damaged by acetone. And slightly lifting on the edges, but that was kind of expected because if you remember this is my dominant hand, so this is my right hand, I'm right handed. So this is my non-dominant hand working on my dominant hand. And also, um, I didn't use the e-file when I was applying this set. So keep in mind that the cuticle line hasn't been clean and things like that probably. So it lasted quite well, it hasn't had any chipping at all, like any unwanted chipping or corners or cuticle chippings. So today we're going to take it off and of course as mentioned before we're going to do it once again without the file. So we will need a one of this down here pretty much and then your acetone. Let's chip you up so you can see. Acetone bottle, my cotton swap that went on to smaller pieces, and my nail clip. So I use this to keep my cotton, wet cotton swap intact or on top of the nails. Oh, and also with the acetone, as you can see, is my diluted acetone. So you can see how it's a little, it's a little bit yellow because it has uh, mineral oil mixed in it. So the purpose of the mineral oil again is to lessen the harshness of the chemical in the acetone. This is to protect your cuticle, so around your nail plate here. And once we get down to the actual nail bed underneath, it to protect that because the acetone, pure acetone is chemical. So it's not meant to be on your nail too long or too often. Therefore, whenever time you have to use acetone, which whenever time removal comes, there's no other way but using acetone, then you have to dilute that acetone down. So, so how much you dilute it is you do a little test. So pure acetone, we usually give a little powder dusty shade around your cuticle it's dehydration of the skin of the cuticle so when you mix your cute acetone mix it slowly and when you damp it and you put over your skin and your skin doesn't have that whitish powder ring come on then you know that is usable on your cuticle then so anyway I'm gonna start with filing off the shine surface once again, I'm using my left hand. So see how we Be very gentle when you fall on your naked nails because you don't want to get, even though this is hand file, but if it go onto your skin or if you do it too roughly on your skin, you will still get a burn from hand filing. What I find is, I generally move my dominant hand anyway, and I just hold my 
file in one place. If I was using the A file, I would actually go right down as much as I can. But because I am not using the e-file, I'm hand filing, I don't want to be here filing forever. Because the longer I file, the more chance I will have of um, bumping into my skin. So I'm just going to create a little bit of line across it. So when you remove it, it's not about smooth filing, it's about rough filing. So the more line you can use across it, the better. Let's move on to the next finger. So once again. Just focusing on taking the shine away. Because I do it hand file, this will take a little bit longer than if I was doing with the E file machine. I'm barely touching my stamping plate. This is why, if you can, and if you are um, seriously doing your nails from home, just invest in an E file. It's not going to harm your nails if you do it with precision and control. So I'm not going to go crazy because I know myself I can tend to burn my cuticle. Just trying to... Just that top layer off. So on your during toward your tips, you can do it this way. But I wouldn't recommend doing it near to your cuticle because you want to see where you're going when you come close to your skin in your cuticle. So when you do nails, just be really careful. You just gotta be. Um, attentive when you're working around your skin and then you'll be fine it's not the product is not what's going to harm this, your nails or your skin it's just the way that you're doing it if you're thinking that after wearing um, dipping acrylics for a while and you're saying that it's damaging your nail just watch at how you're doing it first and maybe you can make a little changes and it will make the work less harmful to your your skin. It's not the product generally, it's the application, the method, the techniques that you use. So that's three. Gonna so file all of them first and then let's go to Get your fingers and pull your cuticle down. Don't have to work so hard when you come to your cuticle. Do as much as you can and you can always repeat later on. If you find your file is not rough enough, just move around the file until you get to the sharp edge.
You don't want to make it smooth, so once again, make it as rough as possible. Just going to do this one. Let's go. I would also use the edges, so the edge of the file, and dig that into the powder. Dig that into the powder, not the cuticle, okay? Whenever it starts feeling uncomfortable, because you are going too close to your skin in your cuticle, then you should be stopping and then re-align your position or re-count, see where you are and whether you can be in a different place that doesn't cause pain on yourself. So nail should never be painful. If it's painful, there's something wrong. I think I've taken enough of the shininess away. Not as much, it could have been a little bit more if I had the machine. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of cotton. I'm just going to wet my cotton. is quite small, I don't make a big piece, just enough to cover the nail and then get your bits on top of the nail. Once again, get, a, oops, get the cotton quite wet. And then get the clips go over. I love I love this clip. I think it's time saving, less problems than the foil. The only issue with the clips is sometimes the screw can be loosened and it becomes loose. So that's when you know you need to replace it. you feel the clips quite tight on your fingers as well that means you know the the cotton is pushed into the nails because if it's stay too loose then it won't be able to penetrate through your powder I lost my clip maybe it is a good five minutes before coming back to it. Alright, so we're back. It's been so it's been about five minutes since I had these clips on. And let's see how they turn out. So when you remove or dip mainly you're gonna be patient and you've got to wait it out. So keep in mind I haven't remove anything without using the e so, you can see you can see it still on the nails right and it's expected but there is powder already start coming off from the nail so that's a good sign so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna roughen it again This is all you have to do with it. Just rough it again and then put it back into acetone. And I'm going to turn the pieces around. 
So I'm gonna use a clean side and that apply on the nails now. And this time I'm gonna leave it for Make sure that you re-wet your acetone every time you re-cap it because if you leave the acetone to dry out, that will become messy. Right. Got our pieces of acetone here, so we're going to use this clean side. But we're not wasting too much of it. using the e-file is going to take longer. See, this one pretty, came out pretty good. Just for five minutes. See the softened layer? Then you're just going to remove it. And when you come and refile, Wherever your, your natural nails is exposed, don't file on your natural nails, just file on your product. Because we don't want to work on our natural nails, we just work on the product. We don't want to remove our natural nails. We want to remove the product, so we only work on that area. It's quite common sense. So just be patient. And squirt through there. So, give it a good twist. See how this nail's got the wiring? So that means this nail is a lot drier than the other nail. And that was not what I mean. Even if I'm already using a diluted acetone, it's still dehydrating my nail a fair bit. You can't completely use something that's not strong enough so you can't just do 15 and 50 it's the acetone percentages always have to be higher up in order for it to work so what I'll do next time I'll try not to put the acetone cotton over that dry bit so where I can see is dry try to put the acetone just on the sides of it so it's not going over that area anymore I don't know if anybody picked up that when I was putting the cap on, I put on the thumb first, but I was when I was removing it, I removed from the little finger first. Um, reason being, thumbs is the biggest tip in the whole set. Right? So you want to have to have that the longest fitting in acetone. So you work on it. So you cap it first, but then you try to remove the last. The little fingers are smaller, so you can always go back to it. I don't even know whether that makes sense, but that's my, my theory. What needs to be worked on the most, I'll leave that stay on the longest, if I can. Okay. So you see, because we left this thumb the longest, so it has penetrate through much more product. You see if you can see, it's penetrate through much more product than the other finger, so you can actually chuck this one and use a new piece of brand new piece of cotton. Recycle it again. I should have actually used a brush and brush out all these dust. Five. Give it another 10 minutes, okay? And let's see when we come back. Oh, coming 
of them. Alright, so I'm back again. So I've got Kira away. Uh, check the time 11.15 or 16. And let's see how we go. So once again, I'm starting from the little finger. So there has been 10 minutes. You see? It's almost come off completely. So I don't know why a lot of people kept saying that they have issue taking it off. And there's all this all sort of methods, where there's the rhyme methods and all that, that you have to soak in warm acetone. Warm acetone is another harmful way to actually get the acetone into your cuticle and soften up your mouth. I would not recommend heating up acetone. Your acetone, when it heat up, is like you're activating your acetone. So it's getting, making the acetone a lot stronger. And once again, you don't want that to be on your neck. So this now a little tiny bit left. If I want to, I can actually get an E file and smooth that out now but if not I can put always put it back in for a few more minutes one or two minutes will completely smooth that tip out so this one again I just have to This finger, we were getting the dry lines up here before, but when we, when I shift it and move the acetone pad a little bit lower, away from that cuticle ring, and the line disappeared. Roughen the edge just a little bit, and it will help you. It will help the powder to come. The little fingers. your acetone, all I'm saying, you just need to have a bit of patience while you're waiting for the product to be saturated and softened. It cannot happen within minutes, alright, so you've got to wait. So I've done 5 minutes and then I've done the 10 minutes and I'm pretty much if you're going to apply a new colour, you pretty much just buff smooth it and then just go apply for a new colour right now. But I am not going to apply anything else on this now. So I really wanted everything to be completely off. So I'm coming back for another, another round. Just on the tip side. Doing such small area, I'm gonna fold it and we can just sit in that area. I'm not putting into the rest of the nail. The reason why I 
bolder because I want to create a little bit of thickness on the tips. So when the clip come on, it will push the cotton down. Because otherwise, they, on the tip area, there tend to be a little bit of a gap. Make sure. So see there is a gap in this cap. So your the tip of your nail, when it go right in there, right, it might be sitting on a little. Um, there's a little gap between the tips and the edge. So when you do working on the tips only, you want to create that little gap. When you don't want to create the little gap, you want to feel in that little gap so that your tip end will get the pressure that is required so that acetone can penetrate through the pattern. You will feel it on your hands if the tip becomes a little bit too loose. scissors anymore. So I'm just going to use this. So you can just put it and then put it back if you want. No, it doesn't sit. It doesn't always sit well on your finger. Okay. On your finger. So I'm going to give this another 5 minutes, so it is 11.25 minutes. Alright, we're coming back again, hopefully this will be our last time, um, check the time, so 11.31, I think, in about 5 minutes, let's go, there we go. After this, just a little bit of buffing and then you know, the going on top. So, if you see that little white rim there, so that's just dehydration between the product and the nail. So that's why you need to do, go through a little bit of buffing just to smooth it all out and then a bit of oil. So wash your hands as well. COVID time, you can wash your hands. Just keep cleaning out the edges. I was applying those products stuck to the edges. And then you just move that the whole nail. So make sure you take in the corner because sometimes the product might stick in the corner. Just focusing falling on the tips part with this product. Just, just smooth it out. Yeah, I'm not going to excessively fold my own nails as well. Sometimes product can stuck underneath, so just use a buffer and take it out.
Let's see how much my nails grow within the 13 days of me. And I'm a slow grower. But having the SMS is definitely protective of your length if you want to try to grow them. Providing that you don't abuse your nails, so don't work too hard on your nails. So there we go. Me removing my glossy nail set after 13 days without using the e-files. So if I can do it, other people should be able to do it as well. So just remember using pure diluted acetone. Be very patient. So every time you cover up your nails in the acetone wipe, make sure that your cotton wipe is wet, not saturating, soaking wet, but just wet enough. So that's enough solution will go get soaked into your powder. Cover your nails well and then be patient. Every time you cover your nails, you need to keep your nails at least five to ten minutes to work. Okay? Change the cotton wipe after five or ten minutes, so don't just leave it on for the whole 20 minutes because that will get dried up and that will be harder to remove the dry pieces. Um, and yeah, and that's it. It can be done. You don't have to activate the acetone with more heated and things like that. It's yeah, maybe it take it off in ten minutes, but it's gonna be quite harsh on your nails and your cuticle around it, and you will feel it after the few days once you remove it. So, but anyway, good luck. If there is any question, please ask me. Um, I'm opening to all. I can be contacted by Facebook, Instagram. Emails, um, so all the information are listed in my description box. Um, contact me, comments or comments, questions. I will make sure I reply to you as soon as I see them. In the meantime, enjoy your time and um, hopefully I'll see you back soon. Thank you.